Greetings, and it's a joy to be able to come to you today as we begin a brand new week to take time to meditate in God's Word and pray with you. And as we and we will be journeying together this entire week, I want us to take some time to think about the human spirit. The Bible teaches us that we are, as human beings, we are spirit beings. We are spirit, really. And we have a soul, which is our mind, will, and emotions. And we live in a body, the physical part of us. The body will die, will decay, but the spirit and the soul part of us will continue on. So the spirit, or the human spirit, as, as people, our human spirit had a beginning. God created us at the time uh, of conception. The spirit was born. God created it. But then, then on, it continues to live forever. So the real part of us, and we can study that in scripture, is who we are in the spirit. The spirit is a real part of us. And what we want to do today is try to get a little bit of understanding about the human spirit. And one of the interesting ways we can go about doing this is by looking at the analogies that are used in the Bible to describe the human spirit, the pictures that God uses in Scripture with reference to the human spirit. So you are a spirit. But what is the spirit? What, What can you do? What are you supposed to do with the spirit? So the first analogy of the picture that we see in scripture that we want to look at today is that the human spirit is referenced as being a house, a dwelling place, a home, a house. And you find scriptures throughout, for instance, in Genesis chapter 4 verse 7, when God is speaking to Cain, he says, sin is lying at the door and it wants to come in. So he's referencing his spirit and sin waiting outside wanting to come in. In Matthew 12, Jesus talks about an evil spirit being cast out and then it goes around looking for a place to rest and it sees that the spirit of that man has been cleaned and all fully furnished and it comes back in with seven other more wicked spirits. Now, talking about the believer, Paul says, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of the living God, a house, a dwelling place of God. Or in Revelation 3.20, Jesus says, I'm standing at the door and I'm knocking. If anyone opens the door, I will come in and I will dine with him. I will fellowship with him uh, and so on. So if the human spirit is a house, what are the implications? That means you on the inside, your spirit is like a house. Is like us. We're not saying literally is a house, but it's like us. That's a picture. It's an analogy. What are the implications of it? Well, in a house... A house is meant to be inhabited. So as a believer, in your spirit, God dwells. Christ dwells in our hearts through faith. The Holy Spirit is dwelling in us, in our spirit. So it's a dwelling place of God. That's why we are the temple of God. And if the in a house, that house generally is kept clean. You don't want to keep the house dirty and messed up. Uh, it, if it's dirty and it's not clean, then it doesn't, it's not habitable. It's not comfortable to stay in. So the implication is that I, we need to keep a house clean, guard and protect what comes in and what abides in that house. You have doors and windows, which are entry points to that house. And the owner of the house has the right to decide who comes in or what comes in. You can open the windows and the doors and let light and uh, air come in, or you can shut the doors and windows. But the intent is to keep that house clean so that it is habitable. And one other thing we could say is that about the house, it's a place of fellowship. As Jesus said, I will come in and I will fellowship with that person to have a meal is to fellowship. It's a place where there can be communion. It's a place where God and you can commune and build relationship. So that's the first thing. Your spirit 
is like a house. Think about this further. What would you do with a house? The same thing you do with your spirit. Let's pray. Father, we pray and ask that you'll open our eyes to understand how you created us and who we really are in the spirit and how we can develop ourselves in the spirit, how we can maintain ourselves in the spirit. Open eyes, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.